Hey everyone, this is Anton and you're watching the HTC One Mini versus HTC One comparison on Pocket Now. But you notice that I don't have any devices with me. That's because we're going to do things a little bit differently this time. We are using the HTC One Mini to record this intro. So, let's get to the comparison. When we started using the HTC One Mini as our daily driver, after installing everything and mirroring our HTC One setup, we were surprised to see that the HTC One Mini was snappy. Really snappy. Of course, if you want to see just how snappy the HTC One is, check out our full review over at Pocket Now for all the details. While you're at it, follow us on social media to be among the first to see our videos and posts. We thought you'd like to see a side-by-side. The HTC 2013 Mini flagship and the S4 Mini competitor versus the HTC One flagship, the Samsung Galaxy S4 competition. So here it is, and we're looking, as usual, at hardware, software and user experience, as well as the camera. You can almost think the HTC One Mini is an HTC One, if you don't know what to look for. That's not only because it sports the same design and materials, but also because it is not much smaller than the HTC One. That is, on paper, and compared side by side. However, when you hold the phone and you start actually using it, you will instantly realize that it is a mini version of the flagship. Just like the One, the One Mini is made out of aluminum. However, there are a couple of differences. While the HTC One has plastic inserts along the edges, the One Mini extends the plastic further towards the front and back, embracing a little bit from the aluminum and from the glass. This way, the Taiwanese company eliminated some of the complaints with a few HTC One units that had a slight gap between the aluminum and the plastic itself. Everything else is apparently the same to the untrained eye. Upon close examination, you'll see that the power button no longer acts as an IR blaster, like on the One. The volume rockers have also been redesigned a bit, and the LED flash on the back has been repositioned. The boom sound speaker grills are narrower, but just as precisely drilled. And a detail HTC paid attention to and were happy that it did. The camera is slightly recessed, so it's much more difficult to scratch it while laying down the phone on its back. These are about the only differences in design and build. However, there are a lot of contrasts under the hood. We have a dual-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 400 processor clocked at 1.4 GHz versus a quad-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 600 running at 1.7 GHz. 1 GB of RAM versus 2 GB of RAM, 16 GB of internal storage versus 32 or 64, 4.3-inch 720p SLCD2 display versus 4.7-inch 1080p SLCD3 display. 1800 mAh battery versus 2300 mAh battery. No IR blaster and NFC on the Mini, well the One has them both. The main camera is matched at 4 megapixels, wearing the Ultra Pixel tag, but the webcam is a 1.6 megapixel unit versus a 2.1 megapixel shooter on the One. Android 4.2.2 now runs on both devices, out of the box on the Mini, via update on the HTC One, and Sense is nicely complementing it. Which brings us to the user experience. As you can see, we've got a mirrored setup on both devices, and we can tell you that the user experience HTC is delivering on the One Mini matches the one found on the flagship. There's nothing you can do on the One that you can do on the One Mini, if you disregard, of course, hardware limitations referring to NFC and IR Blaster. This means that Blink Feed is there, whether you like it or not, and Sense has been further tweaked and fine-tuned. With the 4.2.2 update on the One, they're both featuring the new notification shade and some other minor tweaks under the hood. For a detailed look at HTC Sense experience on One, and implicitly on the One Mini, make sure to check out our full HTC One review on Pocket Now. Performance-wise, HTC and slash or Google managed to achieve a great thing. A slower device on paper manages to keep up with a flagship. Is it possible for a Snapdragon 400 with half the RAM to keep up with a Snapdragon 600 with double the RAM? Yes give or take a couple of milliseconds, which are really negligible. We've compared app launch times for most daily tasks, for browsing the web, YouTube, Spotify, email, Facebook, Calendar, Google+, Twitter, messaging, navigation, and other app launches. We'll let these side-by-side -side comparisons run for a bit, until you get a sense of how well the One Mini is keeping up with the One.
See what we mean? Now let's move on to the camera. Its performance should be similar to the ones. Let's run the slideshow while we tell you more about the camera. HTC fitted the same 4 megapixel ultra pixel camera on the One Mini. Its lens cover is a tad smaller and the LED flash has been slightly repositioned, but aside from that, everything should be the same on paper. And it also is in reality. Everything we said with the occasion of our HTC One review concerning the camera applies here too. Shots are good outdoors and while HTC doesn't miss an opportunity to emphasize its ultra pixel camera performance in low light conditions, we are not impressed. There's just too much noise and the sensitivity is not appalling either. It's not a bad shooter, but it's not the best either. And we're not comparing it to the one on the 808 Pureview or the Lumia 1020, but to other phones like Samsung Galaxy S4 or Lumia 925. The camera interface and the entire experience is identical to the HTC One. This means that you can snap pictures, Zoe's, have special effects on Zoe's, experience the live gallery with highlights and all. Photo editing, manipulation, live effects, everything is in. While we'll look at some of these aspects in our upcoming review, you can always check out our HTC One review right now for more details. In conclusion, the HTC One Mini is worthy of wearing its bigger brothers, the HTC One's name. It is a true miniature of the flagship, from the outer looks and premium feel to the entire user experience. Even in the performance department, while lacking specs on paper, it delivers a solid experience. If you think that the HTC One is too big for you, or too expensive, the One Mini is a great solution. If you prefer the HTC One looks and feel, stop right here. If that's not a must on your list, you can also look at another mini phone, its direct competitor, the Samsung Galaxy S4 Mini, which we also reviewed.